all of you. This video is a lecture on the poem Freedom to the Slave by Henry Louis Vivian de Rosio. The 19th century Anglo-Indian poet Henry Louis Vivian de Rosio was a radical thinker, a social reformer, and one of the first Indian educators to disseminate Western learning and science among the young men of Bengal. His teachings inspired the development of the spirit of liberty, equality, and freedom. His reform activities brought about an intellectual revolution in 19th century Bengal and initiated the Young Bengal Movement, which involved a number of his students and followers. Though considered an Anglo-Indian, De Rosia was fired by a patriotic spirit for his native Bengal and considered himself an Indian. He was perhaps the first nationalist poet of British India writing in English. He wrote a number of wonderful poems, of which the Fakir of Jangira was one of the most important. Many of his poems speak for his love for India and are landmarks in the history of patriotic poetry in India. De Rosio's poem, Freedom to the Slave, is a fervent expression of patriotic sentiments in eloquent terms. The poet describes the elated feelings experienced by a man when he gains freedom from slavery. Liberation from the lowly state of slavery endows man with pride and self-respect. His soul is enlightened with noble feelings. He discovers his dignity and worth as a free human being and is blessed with high thoughts and lofty emotions. The poet remarks, he knelt no more, his thoughts were raised, he felt himself a man. The man who gains freedom looks around him and discovers freedom everywhere in nature. The poet exclaims, he looked above the breath of heaven around him freshly blew. He smiled exultingly to see as the wild boars as a flew. He looked upon the running stream that beneath him rolled away. Then thought on winds and boards and floods and cried, I am free as they. The blowing wind, the flying wild boards, the running stream, all the elements of nature are free from any kind of bondage. The free man feels an exulting joy at such a sight and his overwhelmed spirit responds to the joy of the winds, the boards and the stream. In the apostrophic expression in the next line, O oh freedom, there is something dear even in thy very name. De Rosio employs a beautiful metaphor to equate the soul enlightening freedom with the everlasting flame that lightens the altar of a deity. Soul is that sacred altar in man which once lost in the darkness of slavery is now enlightened with the eternal flame of freedom. According to De Rosio, a patriot who fights for his nation in the name of freedom is sure to succeed as he is inspired by a noble cause. However, the poet also glorifies nonviolence while speaking of sword as a weapon. He exclaims, and glory to the breast that bleeds, bleeds nobody to be free. A true patriot is glorified when he acquires freedom for his people and his country by killing or hurting no one except himself. The last four lines of the poem is an indirect call to man to break the bonds of tyranny that enslave man. Slavery causes degradation to the spirit and soul of man. A strong hand of a patriot and a generous heart with compassion for those enslaved by tyranny is needed 
to put an end to tyranny and free people from slavery. De Rosio's nationalist sentiment rings deep and sincere in the last few lines as he summons his countrymen to rise against their tyrannical ruler in a bid to free themselves. Freedom should not be for one, but it should be for all. A true patriot is he who realizes the indignity and shame of slavery. It is his duty to lift his countrymen from the humiliating state of slavery and elevate them to the heaven of freedom. Blessed be the generous hand that breaks the chain a tyrant gave and feeling for degraded man gives freedom to the slave. So, De Rosio's patriotic zeal manifests itself in the love for his countrymen and in his empathy for their enslaved state of existence. Himself a champion of the cause of liberty, De Rosio glorifies the free man who wages relentless war against tyranny and strives like a brave warrior to gain freedom for his fellow human beings.